Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. It's Saturday. It's time for a shave. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. Oh yes, it is Saturday, and I don't know when I have actually done a Saturday shave. It's been a long time on video. Today's shave is for Veterans Day. So to all the veterans out there, thank you for your service, and this shave is for you. Today's uh, shave soap is going to be by Strike Gold Shave, and this is Presidential Retreat. And I've used this soap several times in the past, and I kind of always get this, it's not real heavy, but I kind, it's just a reminder or like a hint of um, <clears throat> Creed Aventus. And like I said, am I too far into the camera? Anyway, it's not uh, super strong, but there are some other notes in there that probably is uh, familiar to me, and I'm getting another alert. <laughs> anyway, I have it whipped up in my Captain's Choice Copper Bowl and my beautiful Trotter's Handcraft Brush. And this one is the Ivory one. I figured it would go great with this shave. I do have the matching splash to go with it. Didn't have that on the last shave video. And this is a very uh, well-worn khaki set by Gillette. And this is a very interesting set. To me, um, this is one that was property of the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, Let's see if I can hold it up there, yeah, property of the U.S. Army, and it has the matching mirror to go with it, and it's just a very um, collector's piece to me. I would love to know the history on this, if it was actually deployed or not, and <clears throat> Has that battlefront smell, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever uh, had a chance to put your nose on uh, anything that was issued in the Army and it has that kind of warehousey smell. I forgot to get my Gillette Silver Blue Blade. Hold on just a second. If those guys were in the trenches, you know they had a Gillette Silver Blue. <laughs> or they wish they would have. Yeah. So let me load this blade up here. Now the top cap and the um, the base of this is very thin to me. And uh, so I always want to be very careful of it. And I can't remember if this one, this one does not have any cracks in the handle, amazingly. It's got the patent number here on the bottom, but <clears throat> I always want to be very delicate because the uh, combs, like I said, it's very thin. And since it's made out of brass, if you drop it, it's a very good chance that you're going to do some damage. So let me go ahead and get lathered up here. <clears throat> My face is drying out just a little bit. I'm wearing one of my icky Duluth trading shirts that has seen ooh did you see that I caught the caught the blooper it has seen many work days and <clears throat> I've got a few things that I'm gonna do outside today and I may get dirty and so this would be a great time to wear this shirt <laughs> all right let me get the razor warmed up get the shave going here I just love the way these razors feel in your hand so if you're not familiar with this uh, scent, it's got, uh, ooh, I love the way this feels. These razors are so impressive on the shave. I just, I love the way they, they feel. Gillette nailed it back in the day. Anyway, as I ramble upon and forget what I'm wanting to talk about here, the uh, scent profile on this, there is a, a cherry note in there, bergamot, a 
What else was my nose picking up? I actually wrote down a few things. Lime and pineapple. So the pineapple and the cherry come out first to me. It's kind of a sweet scent. And there's also some other notes in there. I don't really pick up the musk. I just kind of like that fresh scent. I think the last time I used this set was on um, Memorial Day. Can't remember. But I was just thinking the last time I'm pretty sure um, that I had lathered in my uh, canteen cup. This time I'm, I'm going to use the mirror and pretend that I'm in the trenches and thinking about how, you know, that mirror actually, actually does pretty good. It's, it's, um, I won't say it's magnified, but <clears throat> compared to looking in my screen on my phone and shaving, it definitely has a little bit more of a close up view than my screen. I'm sure this is probably a polished stainless steel so that it would uh, make it through some of the tough times. So it's not real perfect. You can see some grind lines and things like that in it, but they actually did a very nice job polishing it. And you can see, I gotta be careful with it because she's starting to come apart a little bit. All right, so let's get lathered up with pass number two. And <clears throat> for a lot of people, one pass with that razor would probably do it for you. I don't chase the baby butt smooth because I always get a little bit of irritation and such. And so <clears throat> two passes works for me. I can get away with that without having any extra problems. This is a very nice scent. And I don't know if I showed you, I probably haven't been doing this on a lot of videos, but here's the lather that I was able to achieve. And that's one of those things where, you know, you're able to add more water or less water to your liking. Now I know these uh, razors were made for a different blade. The blades back then were a little bit thicker. And you can hear this thin, thinner blade has a little bit more feedback to it. But it does work well. That soap is getting ready to fall off. Can you guys hear that feedback? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below, have you shaved with one of the old type razors? Oh, you know what? I was gonna say, <clears throat> I have one of those big Gillette handbooks and I was reading in it and it was pretty uh, impressive to think that this set was released in World War One, and that was between 1918 and 19, uh, 19. And Gillette produced 3.5 million razors in that time. Now, if my math is correct, and I'm not a mathematician, but that's like 83,000-ish razors a month. Now, can you imagine people working on an assembly line with lathes and different uh, machines that's not computer automated and to be able to do that? That's pretty impressive. Well, let me get cleaned up with some uh, cold water. I'll be right back. Got a little carried away with the water. <laughs> Felt so nice. Yeah, so if you were to think about, I'm going to give this splash a little shake here. If you were to think about uh, the people that made that razor, I'm just going to guess and say that more than likely it was a lot of women. 
that stepped up to learn new jobs and things. Uh, because if you were the age of a young fighting male, you probably were overseas. So I would say women and older gentlemen were mass producing these razors among other things. And uh, I would love to have seen, you know, the actual process, whether I was a fly on the wall or just some pictures. I find that stuff very interesting. So that's my shave for the day. I'm thinking about maybe doing a shave tomorrow because it's going to be Sunday and I love doing my shaves on Sunday. So it'll just be a one day growth thing. But uh, anyway, I'll put a little picture right here of the uh, main items I use today and I will see you on the next shave video. You guys have a great rest of your weekend.